So as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, Dad cleaned up the shop last night. Uh, it was a pretty big mess. Um, he took the cylinder to get take that today for the skid lighter. Hopefully they can get that repacked soon. Um, and then a couple months ago, my sister's friend uh, was driving the four-wheeler and decided to hit the corner of my grandparents' building. And uh, so the four-wheeler's been driving, like, when it was like this, it was going straight. Which, as you can tell, the back tires are still bent. You can't really see it that good, but from here you can. And you can see where she hit it with the back tire. There's a big old dent in the rim of the tire. So, anyways, this was what was wrong with the front. Dad didn't look the back yet, but this tie rod's all bent, so it's going to try to fix that or get a new one. And then I've been working on this light project a little more. I'm um, hoping to get it finished up real quick and then go test it on the trailer, see if all the lights and everything work. Um, the brake light's not done yet because I need a zip tie, and I don't know how, but we ran out of zip ties. So I need to get some zip ties, but... Uh, I'll show you what I got going on. I'll pull it up here so it's kind of not as tight in here and then I can show you what I got going on with everything. So I'm starting to get everything cleaned up back here. Pull the seat up so it's a little easier to see. So I got um, this new wire ran up here for the brake light. So I just added another one of those and then I got this loom going down here. So those Green, yellow wires, that's for the uh, turning signals, which I'm not going to hook them up individually. I'm going to hook them up just as flashers. They're going to go to this switch, which I had them. They just came out of the connector. Uh, I need a bigger connector, so I'm going to try and find one of those. But basically, when I turn these lights on, if the trailer's hooked up, then the trailer will have flashers. And then, of course, white is your ground, so I had the white wire running up here. And then this was already there, this whole setup one over here for the ground of the battery and then i just added this um little l piece here that way i could bolt the light to it and then also made the ground for the light and the trailer hookup so then this light i got a positive running down through here under to the switch and then one to this which i can actually show you because i don't have the switch in it right now so here's the switch and uh of course, when it was touching metal, it was making sparks because of positive, so I unhooked the light from it. But basically, the wire for the light's right down there. It'll hook up to here. And they go under the tractor, and then I have them on this piece where when the brake's pressed, they're pressed in. Then when you press the brake, it comes off, which then turns the light on. So uh, I had it pipe clamped around there. Of course, it's still pushing out the back because there's nothing on the front to keep it from pushing out. So I'm going to... Zip tied. I had them out before with zip ties in the pipe clamp. It worked really good. It just wasn't in a good spot. Um, so, yeah, if I can get some zip ties, I can get that done today. Um, but I guess the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and fix these flashers here. And then maybe finish running this loom down under the track there. And then uh, try to get that all figured out and mounted. But like I said, once I get these flashers done, we'll go down to the trailer, hook it up, see if the lights work. And all that. Got this wire reconnected here. Uh, got it in there pretty good. So before I worry about the brake light, I'm gonna go down and uh, test that out on the trailer. Make sure all those lights work. Should have tail lights and uh, flashers. I didn't end up wiring the brake light up to this just because wiring the brake light up to this. Number one, I'm not gonna haul the trailer that much. Number two, it just it was a lot of extra wiring, and I don't really want to do a bunch more wiring. Plus, there's already a bunch of wires going everywhere. So, I figured flashers was good enough. Don't need the brake lights. It's no big deal. So, let's go test it out. Well, a little change of plans. Uh, these are two different ends, so they're not going to go together. So, in the future, I'll have to cut this one off. I have another one like that for the trailer side. But the trailer's already wired, so just cut this off, rewire it. Um, and with the old one, or with the new one, they won't fit. I don't know, I guess because they're different as far as the shape of them i'm not sure exactly but i think the boat has a rounded one it's got four prong so i'm gonna go see if the one on the boat will hook up to it and uh, hopefully it will just so i can test these lights sure enough got the boat one hooked up this one uh fits it so i have not tried any of these lights 
So hopefully they work. So I have the brown wire, which is the tail lights wired up to the light switch. So when the lights are on on the tractor, which you can't see because it's daytime, are on. Then it turns the, light, the tail lights on the trailer on. So let's go see if they're on. Sure enough, they're on. You can see them down there. They're all on back here. That one's busted. We gotta replace that one. Got it busted taking the boat to get a new engine on it. Got an 88 horsepower now instead of a 45. All right, now let's go try the flashers. Once again, haven't tried this either. So go down here, flip the switch on. They're on. Now, are these on? Okay, they're not. Tail light's still on. And uh, they're on, but they're not flashing. So, let's see. I might have them um, wired differently. Let me uh, mess around with the way they're wired on the switch. Well, pretty disappointing, but what I figured out is the wire I have come from the power, number one, it just came unhooked from that. That doesn't have to do with the trailer. It's basically the trailer lights. I just have them going straight to the switch. There's three prongs on the switch. I have power to one. I have a wire to this relay as one, and then I have one for these so basically when the wire comes off of here i have a wire going from the power straight into there i have um the wire from this right here going into there from this relay that makes them blank and then i have the wire for the lights going to the relay and then i have these in there so i thought putting to the switch make the relay go through it i don't know i guess that ain't how it works if i'm doing something wrong y'all let me know um but if not if i still can't get it figured out i'm going to get another relay and uh, just take these two wires to the relay and then have one coming out of the relay to the switch. And uh, then they should work. But I got to first fix that power wire and then uh, see about doing that uh, as far as the second relay. But um, at least the taillights work and the ground's good. Um, then this brake light, like I said, I'd like to try and get that figured out today. And at some point, I'll have to put that new end on the trailer. So, kind of a project I didn't expect to be this much work, but it's not really a big deal because I'm in no hurry to get it done. And if it doesn't work, what does it matter? Just to have a couple extra wires sitting here. Anyways, I'll take this back up to the shop and uh, try to finish working on it. Wanted to show you the uh, hookup I have for the trailer. So, I had bought this kit right here. Came with the trailer and the truck end. So, uh, this is the truck end that came on here. And then Here's the other one so I could just cut um, the other one off and uh, wire this one on there and it'll be good as new. Um, but that's not a today project, a different day. Got this power wire hooked back up. I'm not too fond of those kind of connectors. They're kind of crappy. Anyways, um, so all that's good. I'm just gonna leave it for today till uh, I switched them around all the possible ways and I could just rewire these and I could rewire this wire up to um, the one for the lights here, but I don't really want to do that. It looks good just having the two, and then I'd have to use butt connectors because this wire is not long enough. It would only go to about right here. So I think I'm just going to get another relay and set it down in there and uh, make it a real easy job that no one will even see. Like I said, i got to get a relay for that. So that one will get done today, but no hurry. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to get started on this brake light again. Well, got it done. I got the brake light finished. So, uh, get around here to the other side of the tractor. Show you what I got going on. Kind of tight in here. Ooh. It's best to rain today. So, I, that's why I'm not just leaving this out. All right. So, what we got going on here is you can see my switch right there. It's a push button switch. So, when it's pressed, it's off. When it's not, it's on. So you can see right there. I don't actually know if you can see it, but you can see up here, this square piece right here is part of the brake and the button is pressed up against it. So when it is moving, the button comes out, as you see right there, button comes out, which turns the light on. So I got a pipe clamped around that and then I have it zip tied to the pipe clamp. Pipe clamp. Let's not fall off. Just got to make sure that always stays tight, which it is very tight. 
And then uh, didn't want to put too tight there. That's how I broke the last switch. And then these zip ties are holding on that way. If it would come loose, the switch isn't going to fall out and drag the ground. And then, of course, I got a power switch and one to the light. So as you can see right now, light's off. So uh, y'all can watch the light. I'm going to press the brake. So then when I press the brake and it comes off the button, it stays on. So, of course, it doesn't matter how hard you press the brake because either way, the button's out. So uh, light will stay on for that. And then when you press the brake, I'll actually have to prop you up to show you this. As far as the park brake, let me get you propped up and then I'll do that real quick. All right, so you can see the uh, light here. So the way I have the switch attached, it's attached to the park brake handle. So when you press it, obviously the light will be on. But then when you set the park brake and you pull it up, it pushes the button back into that square piece. So now the brakes, park brake's on. But the light's off, that way it won't drain the battery. So then you take the park brake off and it comes back down. But then when you let the brake in, lights off. So as long as that switch will stay in place, it'll all be good. I'm going to get um, this loom put on some more. I got it running right here. That's I just need to finish running it under the tractor, all that stuff. Um, but anyways, I'm glad to have that brake light done. It's been irritating me. So now that's done. And then uh, last thing we'll just have to do is the green and yellow wire once we get a um, another relay for it. But uh, I'm going to call this done for the day. I'm going to go inside, eat some lunch, and i got to go somewhere. So it's nice to get this done today. Well, guys, I know it's been a minute. Uh, I know I didn't post a YouTube video last week. I had one, but I was pretty busy. So uh, hoping to post that today, same day that I'm doing this. Um, so here's the Oliver. As uh, you saw the last stuff, so I've been doing some stuff to it. So first of all, got the exhaust painted again. Depending on how you look at it in the sun, it looks kind of crappy. But painted it gloss black again. But um, I think my dad was going to try to find a straight pipe for it. Take that muffler off. Um, he got a steering knob. It was red, so I painted it white because red didn't match the tractor at all. Uh, so anyways, missed the spot. Uh, there's the steering knob, then finished the trailer light hookup right here. So basically, went to Ace, got another relay, you can see down in there. I didn't support it like that one, but whatever. So I ran those two wires into the relay and then back into the switch. So uh, those work now. This fit is kind of long, so I'm not going to plug it back up to the boat or anything, but um, those work now. And then we uh, painted the back rims. So if you remember, these were pretty rusty, crappy looking. Um, so pulled them off, sanded them down, painted them white. Um, so not 100% done. These are supposed to be green, but we don't have any olive or green. But uh, I was just worried about the rims. So you can see it's, yeah, it's a little dirty. I'm gonna go give this thing a bath and then miss some spots. We ran out of paint last night. So dad's gonna bring more home. We're gonna touch up all around the bolts and um, clean it up. Oh, well, I'll clean it up today and then we'll see any spots we missed. But both of the insides are done. So that inside's done, that one's done. And then this one, we really need a lot more paint on. This only got one coat. But, uh, so yeah, we're gonna finish painting that later. And uh, I'll hopefully show you what that looks like later. Put on post video before he gets home. We do this. I'm trying to think if there's uh, anything else. It's so basically the fair is next week. And uh, me and two of my friends are taking our tractors to the fair. So um, trying to get it all cleaned up and looking good. So um, we still got to paint this, tape it off, put some over this, and just finish painting that. Once again, I'll do that. One day I get home with the paint. And then uh, he'll help me finish painting the rims. We'll pull this tape off. And then I think should be good to go. I don't, I'm not going to put the three-point back on um, to go to the fair. Just because I don't really need it on there. And then uh, I'm going to finish. Or I'm going to tape up these wires. They're kind of ugly. And give it a bath. That's just my two goals for now. And clean all like that crud out of there. But yeah, like I said, I got all the wires loomed to the brake light. And up to the hood. And uh, taped around them. So... Everything's looking good on here, so I'm gonna tape up this thing and then go.
go give her a bath and i'll show you what it looks like when it's done she's finished so dad actually got two cans of paint had them at work and he came home on his lunch break and brought them so i just had some touch up to do on this rim that one looks good did all the touch up on the back which it's the back it's not gonna be seen anyways but i still touched it up that back's pretty good i've gotten most of it at least most of what i can and there it is this this is probably the tire i'm least happy with um didn't get any on the tire which is good but fortunately i uh had to do a second coat once the tire was already back on so as you can see there's some white around that green which i can uh just take the tire back off sometimes get some green and go around it and it's not really a big deal and i didn't paint these nuts like i said they're supposed to be white um taped off the valve stem but i mean overall this one still turned out pretty good i think so i mean just around here it's not really the best but i mean i think i think it's all right and maybe in the future i can do more if i need to and then um this front one if you remember i painted this one before we got a new tire put on it so from taking it to the tire shop to put a new tire on it they uh got it pretty dirty so i was thinking about taping that one and uh repainting it but i don't know i decided not to for now maybe later or different day i'm not sure if i'll do it later i might do it for the fair um taking the tractors tomorrow to the fair but uh then this one the inside course got dirty and there's the outside i touched up uh none of them are really perfect two back ones are the best obviously because i just did them two front ones i mean it's white paint so number one it's going to get dirty over time it's going to fade over time it's going to get rust on it it's never going to look really really white and pretty it's always going to have something wrong with it but you know keep it washed and then you know every so often just touch them up put some more paint on it so the only thing still left to do is this grill but i gotta get ready to go here in a little bit so uh i'll do this later tonight tape this put a tape around it and then put something over top of the hood just so you don't get all those white specks which i've already gotten um and finish painting this grill make it look real nice put something in there so it don't get on the radiator but yeah i'm happy all the rims are painted i think it looks pretty good and this video is getting kind of long and i ain't really done nothing except talk about the tractor and do these lights which all look really good so uh i guess i'm gonna wrap this video up but uh there it is last thing i'm sure you noticed there's kind of a film around here because you can see where i had the tape line and then where there wasn't and of course a little bit just kind of on there so actually me and my friends are gonna shine our tires later two of my friends are taking their tractors like i think i already said i ain't gonna stay up uh, there's some tire shine down in there under the paint so uh we'll clean these tires up later of course get all the poop and everything off of them dirt then we'll shine them up make them look nice i think might put a little bit of wax on here on the tractor but uh other than that got these lights done too got a zip tie around there got an extra piece of loom there no more loose wires hanging down so uh i'm pretty happy with it pretty impressed proud of it and uh, i'm excited to take it to the fair all right guys like i said that's the end of this video sorry about not having a video last week and sorry this one's late but uh here it is thanks for watching i'll see you next time